Hi, this is Wu Xian, and welcome to our weekly uh, Climate Screwed podcast. We'll be covering the cards from July 27th to July 31st, 2015. And uh, joined with me here today is Busan. And um, I'll read out the cards. Um, first off, we'll start with Shining Resonance. Uh, the Lightning Princess who leads the dragons, Sonia. Uh, yellow 215k, uh, music and dragon trait. Uh, assist, it's a level assist. And the second ability is Resonance, which is reveal one Yuma Ilburn from your hand, discard one card from your hand to your brain room, place this card to rest. And during the start of your climax phase, you may pay uh, the stated cost, which I just explained. If you do, return all your cards in your brain room, then shuffle your deck. I wow that resonant ability. Yeah, but it it, does, um, there, it it has a lot going for it, honestly. I don't know which card that is. Uh, what the Yuno Inborn is the uh, drop uh, pay one clock one to search a level one and lower. Oh, that one's a, so okay. yeah, that that's, yeah. That, that that card's a staple staple regardless anyway. So yep, so it's a pretty good card. It's, it's a free refresh. I mean, you ditch it's, one. It's, it's not okay. completely refresh, but if you di- you could it, since it's a discard one card from your hand, you could discard a climax too. Yeah, and it will go in because it's part of the cost. It's it, it, it's good for if you want to avoid refresh. And it, it's not like it's this set. It, this uh, the starting resident specifically don't have a red, so savage, salvage, uh, salvage oh. triggers won't exactly matter unless you're using uh, doors. Then it mm-hmm. might matter a little, but not too much. Well, it's a good card. It's, it's a good card. It's I think I think everyone every deck sh- is gonna attack at least one. Yep. Moving on. Uh, Marion Lucila. Uh, yellow zero zero five hundred. Of music and dragon trait. Uh, has assist. All your characters in front of this card gains plus five hundred power. Second ability, when your other characters reverse their opponents in battle, you may place the top card of your deck here waiting room. Wow. <laughs> um, it's good for getting through your deck. What's what's going with that? Yeah. When you have like four or like three climaxes turn one or turn two, yeah, pretty sure it's a good idea. You know, put place it, to- I, I although I'm a little iffy about it, I doubt it'll be used. No it's it's okay. If you're if you're a bad luck like me or um, the night shadow who usually have really bad opening hands, yeah, we can do that. You can use the second deck to mill out those. Guys. Yeah, just what other assists are you gonna run at level two? You can use the right. Kirikar Kiriko assist. I, I guess. Uh, next card, Renan Mayfield, uh, blue character zero zero two K, music and dragon trait. Uh, on play, you know, place the top. Three cards of your deck to your rating room. Second ability is when this card declares an attack and you are at level zero, you re- you may return your entire hand to your deck. Shuffle your deck. If you do, draw the same amount of cards as your previous hand. It's a so, reload. Yeah, wow. it, it, if, if it, you get your turn, just technically reload. Yeah, that's the first thing that came to mind. Um, and this is, this is actually, the second effect is actually really old. It came from Lucky Star. Oh, so, you just don't see it anymore. You but, just don't see it anymore. This is, this is a really old effect. It may seem new, but it's actually really old. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why they're giving so many mill out like for um, Shiny Resonance. I'm not really sure how that will work. Not sure how it's gonna work. I mean, like it, it's it's obvious the second effect obviously opening ha- if you ha- if you are like totally shit hand shit opening hand and even that you had to draw into discard first. I, but, I I don't think it's. I mean, like the mill is fine, but yeah, you had to you had to be able to work with the mill too. Still, I I guess you can somewhat compress your deck, but I'm not really sure. If, that's the playstyle for Shiny Resonance. I don't think it's a playstyle for Shiny Resonance. I mean, like, it doesn't really interact with the Raid Room that much. I mean, like, there are a few cards that require certain, certain cards in the Raid Room, but that's mostly changes or stuff. Yeah, just, I guess it can help you guarantee change more, like, well, not guarantee, but, like, more. Give you, give you guarantee chance, yeah. about giving you a higher chance. I don't know, you might take one or two in. I guess it depends on the deck. Yeah. Moving on, Ice Fang Elven Knight, uh, Lesty, blue character one one five k, music and dragon trait. If uh, when you had a when you have another character with Kirika in its name, discard gains plus three k. Just so just, one one eight k. 
just for reference, there is a Kiko support that gives uh, cards in front hand on core and brainstorm. So, yeah. This is probably going to be a stable card. Stable card. Probably stable. Just... The power card. It, you know you know those 117k? Nah, they probably don't exist. This card exists. <laughs> Screw it on. Screw it on. Just because of that, yeah. just because of that Kiko support, uh, this card is, you know, is there okay. now. And it's a common. It's a common. You, you can see a number of these. You're you're gonna be able to get at least three cards, no three yeah. copies, no problem. Nah, four copies always. I don't think uh, I don't think you should run four copies because this, take like I said, the character card gives Hano core. You're not gonna need four copies. Oh wait, yeah, good point. Never mind. Guess moving on. Diva Magica Kirika. Uh, blue character one zero four K music and dragon trait. Uh, on play. Uh, if you have two or more other music and or dragon characters, this card gains plus two point five K until end of this turn. Uh, second ability, when this card reverses its opponent in battle and the climax resonance of souls, which is a pants or a date trigger, is in the climax folder, you may draw a card. Uh, it also has a change, which is during the start of the climax phase and change it to the girl who inherited the ancient song Kirika. Yeah. Change is free, by the yeah. way. Oh yeah, change, free change. Well, we could talk about this card, but we should... Talk about the mm -hmm. other card because other it's like it's, it's the combo card. It's the one that it changes it into the girl who inherited the ancient song Kirika, which looks like the same card with different color. Um, blue character one zero four K music and dragon trait as well. Uh, on play, if you have two or more other music and or dragon characters, this gains two point five K power at the end of this turn. Uh, second ability is this card declares an attack of the Karma Kirika on souls, which. I just said is a gate trigger. Uh, this gains 1.5k in the following ability until the end of this turn. Uh, when this card reverses its opponent in battle, you may bottom deck that card and has a free change during climax stage into their previous card. Uh, for reference, yes, uh, for reference that uh, the you can only change to each other once because it's been not only is mentioned on the on the text, it's also very similar to a change in Idol Master. It's quite obvious. You want to get the change off, so you have to be sure which one you change it into. Uh, one of them is uh, based on one of them will give. Of course, you need the climax comp, climax card to actually make it make it worthwhile. So that kind of makes it kind of situational, I suppose. It depends. Yeah, on, but it depends. I, I'm looking at the power. It looks pretty weak, so I'm not really sure. Power how wise, it, you're looking at a 6.5, 7.5 for the climax. Come on, 7.5 climax. I I don't think I'll cut it. Any. But you have to look at it. Seven point five, and if you reverse draw a card, that's okay. And you and the other one is seven, it's it's not seven point five. It's a nine k. Okay. Oh wait, yeah, that's nine k. Um, I guess it's it's really situation. Should know like it gives you. I, I, I don't. I don't. I think it's it, this is. I think this is more like a gimmick. Yeah, I, I I'm not familiar with the series, but yeah. I think this I, is more of a gimmick. Uh, it, this is this is easily comparable to uh, the army and mommy's uh, change from Iron Master because they did they, they does they do relatively the same thing. Mm -hmm. Of course, they were of course uh, they were a little different. This one is a common card. The other ones are rare. Okay, these are common cards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're common. Overall, I don't I don't. This is hardly your staple level one. Obviously not. It's just more, this is more like a gimmick. Uh, a wife gimmick, deck. Gimmick wife. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Uh, um, overall, the car, the combo is okay. It's, it's kind of gimmicky, honestly. So at least, at least most of the costs are free. Their costs. I mean, all the costs. The, 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 co the, the whole ability is free. So. So. Yeah, I mean. It gives just, you yeah, awesome. but yeah, it requires a change. You got like you gotta need some sort of mill. So, so example, Rina would be would be a good card for that for card would that run this card. Mill three, man, gotta get that change. <laughs> Uh, I guess move on. It's Ernest Girl uh, Marion, uh, yellow character one zero two five music and dragon trait. It, it's a counter. Um, first ability is Resonance. Reveal one Yuma Ilburn from your hand. When you use this card to back up, you can pay the cost. If you do, give one of your characters plus one k, and the other ability is back up for one k. Yeah, basically two k Ilburn in your hand. Yep, two k free. Back up. I still get the opener in your hand. If yeah, I I don't think it's that good. I prefer if it's a uh, check top deck, but uh, that check top deck is yeah, more is is far is harder to do. This one it, this one is easier to do honestly because all you have to do is keep make sure you have Ilburn in your hand. Ilburn you can get over in your hand is kind of easy. But would you especially keep especially when there's a bond, especially when that card has a bond to it. Oh okay, that makes shit easy. <laughs> 
You see, the, the, whole, the, whole set, yeah. the whole series relies on that one card. You know, that I bet that card's gonna cost more than Ricky. <laughs> the salt. Um, hey, you know, remember, the card, the card comes with an SP as well. Anyways, keep going. <laughs> well, uh, moving on. Knight, Captain of, of the Will and Kingdom. Lesty, blue character 2-1, 2.5. Uh, music and Dragon Trade. Uh, first ability, when you use this card's backup, uh, you're gonna pay 2. Place the top card of your deck to your stock. Two o'clock, sorry. Wow. Uh, if you do, choose one of your opponent's characters with levels higher than your opponent's current level and send it to your owner's waiting room. And it's a backup for 2.5. Uh, if you think of it this way, yes, it stops, it's, it can stop an attack, and but you, it's, but, but think of it this way, it's still taking like, the probably could be level two, so two soul, instead just take one. No, you can still you can use the backup first on a different character. And exactly, your, but the, yeah. the, thi the, the thing is, you're still, you're, you're, uh, in theory, you're still stopping one attack. So yeah, the, cost you, is, the cost is still the cost, although it's clock one, it's still worth it. It is worth it, considering how... Um, I'm pretty sure Shining Wizards didn't have one before, and uh, considering the number of changes and level downs we have Shining, right Shining now. Shining Resonance is... is uh, you made Shiny, you made Shiny Sita. Shiny Sita, okay. But the series didn't have one before, so... There you go. You, I'm pretty sure you could. You definitely, if you if you still it's still running Shiny Sheila, you'll probably be grabbing a few copies of this, anyways. Yeah, you probably. Um, it can, since the deck already runs blue, you, it should be okay to play this card if you have to. Yep. Overall, it's okay, okay card. It's good for both Sheila as well. So. Um. Moving on. Now we have Nisekoi. I sure someone wanted to do it, but he's not here. Someone wanted to do it. He's not here, and uh, I'm too poor to buy this new EB. So wow, this guy. Room. To love her, uh, all for to love. Um, uh, first card, uh, freshman Haru, blue character, one zero, four point five k. Uh, it just has sweets trait, and it gets five hundred for every other sweets character you control. And uh, for reference, uh, Kosaki Onodera also has sweets, and that's like the only other character. E yeah. So, you have to go in mono. It's mainly Haru with um. With Kosaki. probably some, with probably oh. some Kosaki cards, probably. Yeah, if, but, if, if, if you really want to run this card. Yeah, but a uh, problem with that is Kosaki, she doesn't, like, in the first set, she doesn't have any supporting ability. She does, to in the TD. No, two sweets, not two sweets specifically. Oh, yeah, so, you're right. She does, this card doesn't have key. That's right, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't have key. So. It'll be mainly Haru with Kosaki support. It which... has support. It, even then, if we're talking about meta, well, of course this card is not going to be a meta build card, but even then, uh, Kosa uh, Kosaki has her own 1 0 6k clock on core at full yeah. field. So, so the, 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 the support for this card has to be pretty substantial we'll to, make find it, out to make eventually. it worse. It'll probably just be a waifu deck, considering <laughs> I know a lot of people are uh, going for Haru. That's... I, I know I know a lot of people who <laughs> likes Haru, so yeah, a lot of people love, like Haru. Um, not much to say. It's a pretty common card. Next card is pretty similar. Uh, White Fang of the Beehive Paula, green one zero four point five k weapon trait for every other weapon or lady or heroes you control. This card gains plus five hundred power. At least it has more use than Haru if you look at it a fan base deck. Yeah, there's more uh, Tsugumi, and uh, you can use. Uh, uh, the Chitoge. As well, yeah. <laughs> um, but in terms of a weapon deck with Tsugumi, I, since I actually play the deck, I don't think you'll actually use this card, considering how um there's a, well there is a Tsugumi card which is the same thing, just 500 less power and it has a climax combo plus two solid search, pay one search on attack. Um, I prefer that over this. So yeah, <laughs> I don't think this this card will replace too many weapon fields. Oh, well, I I don't know the set. In yet. I I already watched up to the season first season, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> don't even know who this character is. Don't worry. But anyways, in terms of card ability, losing five hundred power for getting a extra climax combo plus your soul. Uh. I mean, I would rather take the Climax Combo considering how the level 2 is shit and you can side on level 2, supposedly. And um, the 500 power, I. Nah. It depends it's... on the other card that might come up with it. Yeah. But as of right now, that's how I feel. Next card uh, Girl of Peerless Beauty, Chitoge. That's a lie. <laughs> um, yellow character, 1 0, 
2k, uh, Lady and Kyrus and Kyrie, Key Trait. When this card is played from hand to your stage, look at the top two cards from the top of your deck, add up to one of them to your hand, discard any remaining cards in your rainbow room, and then discard one from your hand. Um, a second ability, when this card declares an attack, choose one of your other level 2 or great or higher characters, and again, 1k until end of turn. Um, what what, no, this card is pretty, pretty bad, honestly. Uh, the, the whole build and grab one, discard one, yes, it lets you go to your deck, yes, it lets you filter your hand a little. The problem is it's power, and the second second ability only matters if you, if you have a level 2 or higher. So you either have a have some sort of level boost in supports, or you have changed. Yeah, and uh, since it happens on an attack, it's pretty useless. You won't have this in. Come on, it's, one it's, it's, it also happens on attack, so that means look at his power. It's only two K. It's not gonna be. It's not, it, can, it can barely kill level what level zeros. Yeah, I can't. No, I don't even think it can kill level zeros. No, it's so it can, it can kill some level zeros, but not whole not not a whole lot. Uh, the, the power. The, if this was like three K at least, three K power, I, I would uh, maybe nah. then, but. Nah. It has to be like four, four, five, four point five. No, it's just too much. Like four K. I don't know. I, I I don't see this card being used. At I don't all. think this. I think this is this card is pretty trash. No one's gonna use this. It is trash. We know one person who might use it, but uh, other than I, that, I don't, I don't. I don't even think he's gonna use this. Even <laughs> that, I, don't, I don't even think he's gonna use this card. Maybe, just for the name, right? Just he's gonna use it. For no, the no, card. he's not. He's, it's a really trash card. It's not. Even, it's not. Very, <laughs> it's not good at all. <laughs> Moving on to live power. Green character one zero four point five k, uh, sweet trait. Uh, when this card declares an attack and the climax on Damon Prince will come, uh, your opponent cannot play any events from his hand until end of your opponent's next turn. The end of your, well, their next turn. Um, so the climax is a bar or a treasure trigger. Um, second ability is when this card declares an attack with the climax. Uh, you may pay one if you do this gains plus 3k in the following ability. It's a clock swap when you reverse your opponent. No, it's a, it's a no, it's not. It's not a clock swap. It, you grab one foot clock from your hand and clock one off the top. That's a clock swap. No, it is not. It's, it's you grab a card from your clock and yeah, you grab then, change, clock then, and... And then change it out with a card from your top deck. You, yeah. when, when you talk about clock swap, you're talking about a card from your hand going to the clock. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Anyways, the card is oh. I think it's okay. The climax, the climax, the, cl the second ability is okay. -ish. It's eight point five, um, so it, it can't kill cards. But you have to remember, you're paid one to do it, and not only that, it's it's not even guaranteed because yeah. you had to do it on a, you had to do it on declaration of attack. So you might be paying one for nothing. If anything, yeah. you're paying one to get at least get a counter card out. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure about the uh, getting the a card on the clock. It may be useful for. No, it depends on what's in the clock, honestly. Yeah. It depends and on what's in the clock. It's it's a break even on one plus one if there's two, but that means they're still paying two to plus one, paying two to plus one, yeah. and there's still a risk. I personally don't like that ability. I only like it for the plus three k. I think that's still fine either way because you can force a climax and um, it's a what is a treasure bar, so it, it'll come in easy. Yeah, and also we I should talk about the first ability is anti event. Well, it, 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 it for two, it's for two turns. Uh, it will yeah. stop their their ability to, to use events during your during your attack step and use and, 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 and then during their whole their own their own whole own whole turn they can't use their own events. Yeah, and it sounds like um anti Marika because screw you Marika I hate you. Um, and, if we talk um, if we talk about these card base, yes, they gotta need it, that event. If it is talk, anti if, basically Nisigoi, in my opinion. Now it's not just these <laughs> There are some decks that are reliant on events. Um, I can't, I, I can think of some, but not too many. For simp a simple gear is starting to move away from that now, so that's not a longer an issue for them. Yep. Um, but it kills off the other pendants, which. You just think about these card this part. We're talking about more broad yeah. side. We're talking about more, more broad, broad side. side. Uh, uh, it, other it, than if, that, I don't think so. it can stop technically compass. Bribing. Yeah, yeah. Bribing. They they so, do stop. Yeah, there there are events, so they do count. Yep. The problem with this is that I don't think you'll be writing this card just specifically to stop that. Yeah, you won't. You'll be running it for the potential clock. Yeah, I think you'll be if you play that, you're uh, more likely running this because of the potential grab from clock. If, if 
Haru base deck. I mean, like, this card's not even a key trait character. Of course, then she doesn't have a key trait. <laughs> That's the point. She's not key trait, which is, the, which is the main staple of the whole set. So that yeah. means it's, this card is rather hard for you to get without, mm -hmm. you know, like a gate, like without, without a salvage trigger or sar uh, not specific savage or something like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait for more cards to be revealed, but I'm pretty sure there'll be more street support. I mean, like this. If I mean, like the anti-event is nice, but it's it's rather specific, especially with, with a card that is not key trait. Well, now you should move on to Sal. Yeah, I'm Sal. Uh, first card will be Absolute Sword Yuki, green character one zero four K, uh, Avatar and weapon trait. On play, this gains power plus X plus X is where X is the number of Avatar or net characters you control multiplied by five hundred. Well, second ability is when this card declares your attacks to the Climax Mother Rosario, which is, yet again, a treasure trigger. You may pay one, ditch one card from hand, search your deck for two, up to two, avatar or net characters, share it to your opponent, add to your hand, shuffle your deck, and discard gain plus one level until end of your opponent's next turn. Okay, I did not understand why this card needed a plus one level. I guess it's to stop Suiciders? Suiciders? But, but in theory, they you shouldn't be using suiciders on defense in the first place. Uh, yeah. And considering how the um, the first ability is only on um, play during your turn, uh, I mean that would be like a four. It'll be a four k four k level two, and that actually can't be can't be change, anti change counter to now because of that ability. I uh, think you be using this. I I think the only reason why you might be using this is because of the double search. Yeah, I, did the, I don't know why the plus one is there. Everyone's confused. I, I, was, like, what, what, I, was, I was like, I don't understand. It's like plus one k. I, I would under, like plus power. Un understandable. Plus one level. Questionable. Questionable. Um, unless there's some weird level support at level one. I don't know. I, I, I do not think they're gonna <laughs> go back to the pl assist give give assist one one give uh give a level two or higher plus. Plus one K. I don't think I, they're going. I don't think I don't, they're going back to that. I don't know, but I don't know what Bushiro is doing lately. And so. in, the, uh, in the other hand, this is a one zero sixty five on full field. Sadly, I think Elizabeth would be a better card against that. The, hey, she's talking, seven five with the climax. You gotta take it. <laughs> but I, no, no. What I'm talking about standard wise. I mean, like, this yeah. Elizabeth from the fir very first set is a it's a one zero forty five that gets five hundred every every. I think only every avatar. I think. Uh, I don't remember, but for every of that trait, yeah, at least of. at least avatar. So yeah, even then, that card would be better if you're looking for a full for full field uh car, full field uh card. Yep. This... So you'll be you'll be you, you, you if you're playing this card, it's for the climax combo. Mhm. Mm and again, since it's a treasure, pretty easy to get. Yeah, so the search should be relatively easy to get. Um, guess we'll move on into everyone's hated character, uh, obtaining the sacred sword Kido. Blue character 3-2, 9.5k, uh, avatar weapon trait. When you have two or less climaxes in the rainy room, this loses one level on your hand uh, during your opponent's turn. For every other avatar or net character, this gains plus 500. Uh, on play, you draw up to two, discard one from your hand. Well, uh, this is definitely a card you would play after refresh because of uh, its ability. Yep, and uh, most likely, I personally, I don't need that most of the time. Condition? No, no, it should be okay. I mean, like, it, uh, assuming that you refresh okayishly, you should, nah, be, never you, should be, you should be able to beat it. <laughs> never happens. I have to brainstorm to refresh. In it's any hot. case, um, <laughs> the it's a it's a was it twelve point five twelve yeah. no eleven point five on 11. defense 5 on and it's a break even in your hand either way. So it's a good level two card. It's pretty terrible at level three, but it's a good early drop card. That's a, that I can say that I can give it that. Yeah. I mean, like I can't really think of a two. I can't really think of a level two blue card you would use over top of this if you can avoid it. Uh, no, I can't think of anything. It's a it's an okayish card, honestly. That's that's it to it. That's it. It's okay. But it is still it is still a victim to anti change. But honestly, I guess anti change. This is probably okay too because if you look at the cost compared to theirs, it's like nothing to you. Yeah. Because the anti change cost is is at least three stock three stock completely. Mhm. Mm so, 
Uh, even even if, even against an anti change, I think this will be okay. You, you, it, it, it'll be a good wall for level two. Uh, it, it's a good wall for level two. Yeah, let's go with that. You just don't hope. You just hope you don't draw into two climaxes and you have to ditch the last one to of your hand. Always, always. That's why I won't run these type of cards. Um, moving on, we have the wife, which is vestige of an elder sister, Asuna. Yellow character three two, ten k, uh, avatar and weapon trait. When this card is played from your hand to your stage, you're gonna heal, and recollection. Uh, this ability can only be activated once per turn. Uh, when the damage dealt by this card is cancelled, and you have a sword skill, uh, bestool Yuki in me your memory, you may pay the cost, which is paying one ditch one. If you do, you may deal one to your opponent. I um, uh, okay, the heal is standard, but we we should talk about the second card because we can't yeah, really talk about sure. it without this one. So second card, which is Sword Skill Pistol Yuki, Green Zero Zero, One K Avatar and Weapon Trait. All your other Avatar net gain plus five hundred. Second ability pay. F okay, when your other vestige of an elder elder sister Asuna declares an attack, you pay the cost. So you should pay for ditch one. Uh, if you do, you may place the top eleven cards of your deck to your waiting room and deal X damage to your opponent, where X is the number of Soul Trigger icons and monsters cards. Uh, also, there's an extra cost to put in this card oh, yeah. memory, so put don't forget memory. about yeah. that. Um, so what they meant from the X equal number of soul triggers, it means the no, the uh, you know that little soul trigger on the on the top top, uh, top right. right, yeah, those ones. Uh, as far as double soul triggers, yes, they count as two triggers. Yeah. Um, I. It's a rather I mean, like, rather high cost uh, combo. If the, you okay, the it. first ability, the first ability is fine. It's global. That's that, that that's pretty design. that's pretty standard. Uh, I think yeah. there's a, I think there's already a global five hundred uh, yeah. level zero. What's there? Uh, it should be style the big size. Should be. Yeah. Oh yeah, there uh, is one. It's uh, it's one with the uh, deaf characters. Okay, the, in the, but in the, in the this is obviously not a deaf character build. Um, pretty sure there is one. I think. There's already a deaf character build. It's been confirmed. It's been confirmed a long time ago. Anyways, yeah. uh, this is that. this is mm, I can't really say for sure. I, it's kind of like uh, a sub. It, it's kind of like saying I have a I have a burn in the f before I attack, and then I have a possible shot after the attack. Yeah. So. But if you look at the cost, it is four, five, seven stock in total for just one. Yeah, seven stock, and you have the ditch two, and yeah. It's a, it's a high cost. It's a rather high cost. I and also. Also, I don't think you'll be having this in your back row level. Three. No, no, it. But no, this is a support. It should be okay. Well, most cases you want to switch over to one support, but um. It depends on the support, but I don't. I, I but guess. If you if you can think of it this way, you can attack with this card, then attack with the uh Azuna card. Then this card, regardless if this card was reversed, would be sent to memory. So there is no loss in that. Yeah, and <laughs> try to burn. And try to burn, yes, and try to burn. And uh, and, uh, uh in, in any in any sense, the top the burn to send the top eleven is I like I said I I I, I have watched Sal, but I have read Sal, but only after only after GTO, so I never actually read Mother Mother Resoletto. so I don't understand the reference. I heard it's a, I believe the top eleven is a reference to the to the light novel, but I don't know what it is. What I don't know. I oh don't wait, know I, if I recall, they said something about eleven hit attack. Oh yeah, okay, that's why. Yeah, that that would make sense. Okay, I remember, I remember my friend said something about 11 hit attack I was, I, okay. when he talked about Yuki. So that's probably a reference to that. Well, the Rizara is a skill that lets the hits for 11. It's an 11 hit combo. There you go. Makes yeah, sense. Okay, that, that, okay, that's where the 11 came <laughs> from. Okay, that's where the 11 came from. In any case, the burn is kind of Meh. mixed between good and bad because I think you'll be burning for at least 4. At least 4. Yeah, probably at least four. At least four, and four plus at least. I I can't I cannot see you burning for zero. There's no way you're burning for zero. Yep. If you pick, if I if I swear if you build eleven cards and not get a single soul trigger, you, you are just, you are you bad. Just, you just concede the game. You should, you, you should just concede just, the game. That's a lot just of waste it, four stock. A, you just waste it four stock in a hand for no burn. Yep. Um. Even then, it. This is okay. a high cost combo. I don't think anyone's gonna play it. 
someone's gonna burn it for it for fun, and we're gonna have some really loud shouting in the background um, one day. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see some loud shouting. Someone's gonna hit. Someone's gonna burn for a lot, and someone's gonna take it. And, someone's uh, gonna burn for five again, and we get, we're always just gonna take it. Five is a magic number for us, by the way. Five is it's like a magic number for us. For a certain individual, it's a magic number. But, um, in any case, the combo is kind of it's high cost. I don't, it's high, I cost. don't see, uh, high cost for is something that seems mediocre. But uh, going back to the level of three, it's okay heals and sig well. The only bad thing about it is it won't have any power, which well, uh, if you can't get the finisher out, you're basically screwed. So, but the, well, the thing is, you kind of need seven stock in total. Compl well, yeah. not seven stock. I so I, I guess six. you can get away. You can get away with six. Yeah. But um, I don't know if anyone actually for a actual serious deck like meta deck. No, that's no. I don't think a meta deck will be run. running this card. I think they'll be running something like Silica and I don't know actually. Silica and no, I think I think Cyanon is still probably is probably could be the main one. Yep. Um. Yeah. So, not much else to say. It's uh, I, it's it's rather gimmicky. It's gimmicky. it's go, it's gonna be hard to pull off without p pushing a lot of cards. All these Bush World is thinking of gimmicks which make the game more uh quote unquote fun. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Uh. Well. I guess that's pretty much it for card of the days. Uh, Shiny Raisins is out already. Yep, that's okay. how that's how we renew there's a lever, le, uh, like that many colors of of that certain card. Yeah, I don't know if there has been any change. There uh, is no, there has no been changed. BCF is, I believe, it's still going on. So. Yep, and I not, I, I'm pretty sure by the end of this mo end of this month, uh, as in the next month, I mean like August, there will be a ban list change possibly. Yep. Especially around Marka, Marka Fandex specifically oh, right really? now, it looks like it. On it's if, most if, likely, if, yeah. if you look, if you look at the deck list, it looks it looks like it. And not real, actually no, I'm not gonna mention that. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So rate, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.